This video is for anybody who is thinking about starting a blog but is totally confused by the massive amounts of different hosting sites you can use and needs a little bit of guidance, alright? So let's see how we go. Hi guys, my name's Ramsey, I'm from blogtyrant.com and this little video is all about hosting. Now you've got two options when you want to start a blog. You can host it on a free blog host or you can buy your own hosting package and host it for yourself. Now I don't recommend using the free version because you don't have total control over that site. When you're starting a blog you're going to put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, you're going to want to change things, you want to, you're going to want to control the back end and on a free hosted site you can't do that. Um, and that's a bit of a shame if you then one day start to make an income from that blog and you really need to sort of totally own that asset. You want full control over it. The only way you can get that is if you buy a hosting package and host your blog for yourself. Now the way that works is you need a domain name and you need a hosting package. You put those two things together and then you install a blogging software like WordPress which is sort of free once you've got that hosting package. That's the most popular blogging software in the world, it's fantastic. There's unlimited plugins and free themes and templates and all these amazing things you didn't even know you could do come built in with WordPress. So you need to get that sort of that, that trifecta, those three things going together. It sounds complicated, but it is insanely easy. I promise it only takes five minutes. So what you do is you go to a site like Bluehost. Bluehost is the blogging host that I recommend. I've used them for many years. I'll include a link below this video to sort of sh to show you a step-by-step -step guide to how the installation process works but it literally will only take you five minutes. So what you do is you go, go to Bluehost, they give you a free domain name, and then you sign up for a hosting package, which costs, I think, $3.95 or $4.95 a month, depending on if they've got a Christmas special or some offer on. Um, and then once you've installed those two things, you then go on and they've got one-click WordPress installation. So what that means is you find the little WordPress icon, you click it, you install WordPress, create a username and password, and you're ready to go. And it's your own hosted blog that you own, it's your asset, you control the brand, it doesn't belong to anybody else but you. Now that's the main thing is you really want control of that, as of that asset. Um, so people want to know a few reasons why I recommend Bluehost and the first reason is because it's worked for me. I don't know if they're the best host but they've been a wonderful host for me. I've never had any problems with them. They have 24 hours a day, 7 days a week live support. Um, so you can jump on chat and talk to their support staff if you have any problems. That's been insanely useful if you ever run into something that you don't understand with the technical aspect of hosting a blog. Those guys are there all the time to help you out. The other thing is it's only $3.95 or $4.95 a month. So if you're just starting out, money's a bit tight, you know, maybe you want to make some money from the blog but you don't want to invest too much in the initial period, this is a perfect opportunity. I notice a lot of people sort of get afraid of investing money so they go the free blog route and they really regret it down the track. So it's good, it's a good idea to do it the right way the first time. You know, keep the costs to a minimum but still get your own host. I've written a blog post called What is the Best Blog Host? I'll give you a link to that below and that sort of goes over some of the reasons why I like Bluehost and it also has 80 comments from my fantastic readers at Blog Tyrant. I love those guys. Um, a lot of them use Bluehost as well and sort of expl uh, explain some of the reasons why they, why they use them and why they've found them helpful. I hope that helps you. If you have any more questions, um, drop over to my site or leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you and help you out. See you later.